Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be taking you around Celebration and showing you guys some really good photo locations if you're looking to do photo shoot, engagement photos, just like any graduation photos, that sort of thing. Before we get into it though, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do a lot of different content, so I would love to have you. Also, follow me on Instagram because I would really appreciate it. And I think with that being said, let's just get right on into to this video. The first little location I want to show you guys is like these little paths and walkways. They're really good for like strolls, bike riding, etc. There's like a cute little bench here that will look kind of cute. Even the trash can is kind of aesthetic. This is a really good location if you guys are just driving around in the town like where the houses are. There's all these different types of little walkways. So I hope I don't run into anyone because that would be awkward. But these little walkways have a lot of greenery. Um, really good for like nature photos. And it just kind of keeps going on and on. So yeah, I don't really want to keep going. Also too, you got to be aware of like snakes and like obviously nature life. So yeah, this would definitely be a good photo location if you are looking for um, something more naturey and green. So there's all these types of paths um, in the different like neighborhoods and stuff. This one just happens to be in South Village just because that's where I'm at right now. Now I'm going to show you my house. I hope the lady in the wheelchair is not out there still but I'll just get a shot here so I'm not like exposing myself so I used to live there that was my house we had a little garage apartment you can see kind of like back there I've shown this house a lot in my channel but this is what the house looks like and the reason why there's two mailboxes is one was for the garage apartment now I'm going to head to um, another little location that I've taken photos at um, I think it was for my friends like graduation photos I don't really know or birthday party um, but I just need to find it so uh, it's been a while since I've like been here so okay just so you guys can like see these really cool houses these are the really big houses sorry for the air conditioning but yeah these are like the mansions this is East on Drive these people have a good coin also these poor palm trees look so sad because they're kind of like dying it looks like so yeah I just wanted to show you guys kind of what this looks like because I think the houses here are like really cool. Okay, good, there's no stop sign here. I always wanted to like go to these houses and like say I was taking a survey for school, like, hey, what do you do for a living? Because these are like insanely large. This is around Aquila Loop. This is not really exactly what I was thinking about, but there's tons of body of water like this that you could, I guess, take photos at. I mean, there's this like cute tree here that looks cool. And also too, if you come here, um, there's a lot of big houses too in Aquila Loop. Well, there's big houses everywhere, but there's some like really big ones that I saw when I was driving in here that I haven't really, I don't really hang out in like other areas because there was no real big reason. And I can't really find where I was looking for, but I'll try to find a picture of like the location i'll put it up here but it was like an all white party like we all wore white and stuff if i can try to find the picture i will this is like the scenery it was really cute but this will have to do because i think this is where um my friends and i took like our prom pictures or whatever this is like at a kilo loop there's like cute little benches there's like big field area so it's kind of like a loop. This is another like nature -y spot, but this is in East Village still. I just came across it. I've actually never really been here, but I just want to show you guys. Um, there's places like this all around in the neighborhoods. Like I said, yeah, I just came across this one and it's really pretty. Here's a better look at like the cute little chairs and stuff. That would be really cute for photo. And just like the whole greenery here is just really, really pretty. Okay, so now we are downtown Celebration and there are so many places to take photos here. I probably won't cover them all, um, but I'm going to try to. But a big, big common factor when it comes to taking photos in Celebration, there's so many good, like solid background colors. So if you're looking to get like a profile picture or like a headshot or something, this is great. It, you have natural lighting. Um, there's just like a really good scenery. So this is a side of Starbucks and open Hearts apartments, great color. Um, you have some greenery down here. So this would be good. Like you're gonna have to like kind of, I don't know, like go on the mulch or something. You could like come here or whatever, take a good photo. I've actually taken one of my friend's photos, I think between these doors. Great photo too, cause like it's kind of like blurred out. So you can't really see inside. 
but it's just like a cool place. I know it's like super random, but I want to be a little bit different. So we are in the parking lot and this is also a good background if like you wanted to like have someone stand here or whatever. Good plain blue wall. And then if you wanted to like have a joke or whatever, you could add the sign or just like edit that out. Okay, so this is another really random spot, but I've actually taken someone's photo here and this is really cool because just like a vent. We're in this parking lot, if you guys were curious, and this is just like a really good blue wall again. And I'm standing like behind this little pole here, but it makes for a cute little background. Okay, this is also a really good place to shoot photos. Um, a Florida blogger uses celebration a lot for her photos so i know where the photos are taken this is a really good photo location we are behind the wine bar and um right next to the celebration store the soft as a grape store i've also taken like some photos here it's in the same area and then also here is kind of cute too just like with the different colors for the longest time i had my profile picture be just like a picture of me with this like peach wall which i'll show you guys like where to go to get this this is also a really good photo location because of this like private like door thing i don't know if it actually ever closes it might but it's always open like when i'm here so you're right next to soft as a grave and you're gonna go in through the photo location i like previously showed you and you're gonna go up the stairs this is a really good wall to get those photos and you might see people that actually live in the apartments. Just say like you're taking a photo for the wall or whatever. Good peach wall. But what's even cooler is this really cool like cutout thing and you can see like celebration, little town area, good view. But this is where I actually took one of my friend's profile pictures so it was like really cool to get like a profile shot of her. And I'm like losing my breath but um, you can go up there and then there's also the same peach wall. This is like definitely one of my favorite places to get photos. Okay, so if you're looking for a brick wall, the Bank of America is a perfect spot to go to because look at all these brick walls. And if you've ever seen this clock, this is right near the Bank of America. It's like you have the right camera on lens or whatever, you can be creative. This area is so perfect for photos because the flowers are almost always gorgeous. Um, I think they like change the plants sometimes. I'm not actually sure about that, but look at how pretty they are. Again, another body of water here. Then we're coming up to a bridge, which is also so pretty for photos and stuff. Okay, so this is the bridge I was talking about. It is so nice and people actually drive on it. So as you guys can see, there's like a truck driving on it. But just this whole scenery is beautiful for a photo and you can really like be creative with this and pretty much get any shot you want. I mean, I wouldn't suggest like swimming in the lake cause like who knows what's in there. But this is also a good spot because you can go on a sidewalk. You don't actually have to be in the street to get like photos. You can just easily walk here, snap your shot. Okay, you'll see a lot of photos here. And this is the building right next to the Celebration Post Office. There are these giant like posts that are white. They look really cool. There's a lot of cool photos that are taken at this location. Kind of looks like a knockoff of something in LA. I forget what it's called, to be honest. But it has like a lot of lights. I'll try to find a picture and like put it on the screen right now, but this is a good knockoff version if you're looking for something like that. Okay, here's another cool location that you can shoot at. There's this cool like gate thing that says private and it actually looks like it's locked. So I like the blue. It's right near Cornerstone Market and Deli. Um, this used to be another deli place, but it's a new it's a new store. If you want to see the video, try to remember to link it down below. There are tons of staircases in Celebration, kind of like this one. So I'm just going to use this one as an example. You can get like a cool shot like here. The contrast is like really cool. You can like aim up like this or just like, I don't know. It's just cool. And um, you can also, again, use this like orange wall as like a background or you could do like something creative and like kind of crop it so it looks like that. There's endless like options you can do with this type of staircase. I almost forgot to include the fountain. This is a must. You can take like cute photos here. You can like sit on the fountain, sit at one of these like benches or whatever and just get like a really cool shot kind of like aiming down Main Street. Beautiful. And I can't believe I almost forgot this location. But yes, don't forget the fountain if you're here. This is another great photo location. I know I keep saying that, but we are right near Gypsy Moon. That's the store name. But in here, there are tons of cool like 
colors. That's what I really like about this. I actually had this really cool photo of one of my friends like jumping up in the air. It's a little echoey, but let me back up. Yeah, I have this really cool photo of like her jumping, but like it doesn't necessarily have to be jumping. Like you could take like a cute photo here and just have this be like what it looks like because it's very symmetrical and I love symmetry in my photos. If you like keeping your themes like neutral and white, the side of D'Antonio's restaurant is really cool because there's this like gate and plus there's like these benches and the colors are just like really nice together. So I would actually use the side of D'Antonio's as a photo spot. A highly photographed place in celebration is the old celebration movie theater. Typically the photographer would stand here and like have the subject like out in the middle of the road. Hopefully there's no cars coming cause that would look weird. Or they'd be standing in that little circle. I don't know if you can see, but there's blue and white squares. They'd be standing in the middle of that highly, highly photographed place in celebration. And it hasn't been open for years. Another great big body of water here in celebration is this lake. I guess you could get photos here. It's really pretty and nice except for that thing. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, this is also a good place. This tree is nice. We're right by the fountain. No one really gets pictures of the fountain. I don't really know why, but look at this scene. Like guys, hello, this is beautiful. This is another really, really great photo location because the photographer could stand here and then like zoom in and the subject could be at one of these little like three areas behind the bars. This is just really cool. I love the reflection and it's kind of like a different type of shot. Or you could just shoot at this location. <laughs> This is just at the other side and get the lake in the background and have your subject like at one of these three little stations here. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so this is not really good for, uh, I don't know, subjects. Oh my gosh, something just went in water. Wonder what it was. But this is good for more like, I guess, nature photography. This is a really cool like pond. We're right near the Celebration Lakeside Park. So I'm gonna talk quickly because there's someone walking a dog, but these are little shrubs and you can use this as a cute little background for photo as well. You would have to like stand back here and get the photo because like this I'm pretty close to the shrubs that is also a good place to like take a profile picture of some sort like a headshot or whatever that would be a cool little background something different you know guys I am so hot I hope that you guys like this video because I'm so hot like I'm like dripping in sweat totally fine with it though and also I wanted to shout out this guy named Brian Tracy he always comments and likes my celebration videos so thank you for supporting me i think he's from canada or whatever so shout out to him okay so i don't know what this like carpet thing is doing here it's normally not there this is obviously a really good shot like just the whole scene here is really pretty i love it and obviously the water is quite nice too i've gotten a picture on these steps here and then obviously i wouldn't like go too close to the water because there are like alligators sometimes this is also a good place for photos really pretty uh, like at sunset here okay so i'm not gonna go all the way down to the dock or whatever but this is a really cute place to get photos and like a lot of people get like prom photos here and stuff so i would definitely use this as like a good photo location because you have the water um, at sunset, you will have the sunset, and then you can also include like that whole scene in the photo. So definitely a good place to take photos. Another prime place for photo right in front of the Celebration Bohemian Hotel. This is downtown Celebration, so you can't really miss it, but there's a lot of pictures taken here um, where the subject is like standing there and then the photo, they have this in the background. It is a really nice hotel. I've actually stayed there, I think like once, I don't know. And then I went there again because we had this scavenger hunt for one of my friend's birthdays. So like we had to like find something in the Celebration Hotel. I've been there a few times, but there's not like a lot of reasons why I would need to go there so I just haven't been there a whole lot and last but not least the every cup is an adventure mural this is on the side of Starbucks in celebration so if you're looking for it that is where it is now when you take photos at this location you gotta be careful because if your lens is like too up close you're gonna have to back up and that backs up obviously into the street so you have to like watch and make sure that you're not going to get run over. Also, there's this tree here too. Make sure if you bring like a photographer here, they have like a wide angle lens or like something to like help with some of the stuff, the little things that can get in the way. 
And I think that is it for my best photo spots in Celebration Florida. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below if there's any places I missed in Celebration that you always take photos at if you've been here and stuff. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any other videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.